Welcome to Mount Calvary's online daily devotions. This week for devotion, we are focusing on the aspect of prayer. And today, I encourage each and every one of you, when you go to God in prayer, pray boldly. Bold prayers honor God. What do you mean by that, Vicar? Well, I'll give it to you as an illustration. A child will only ask their parent of things they know their parents can deliver. As a child growing up in Atlanta to a refugee father, I wouldn't dare ask my father if we could go out for steaks this Friday evening because I knew at the time he could not financially provide for that. A child only asks their parents what they know their parents are capable of doing for them. Bold prayers honor God. Let us not forget who we are praying to, the God, the creator of all things. We are praying to a big God, so pray bold prayers. I challenge you to pray bold prayers. Pray specific prayers. Don't pray vague prayers. Here's what I mean. Lord, help the homeless. That's a vague prayer. Vague prayers rob God. What do you mean by that? Well, if you pray for a small prayer, a vague prayer, and the prayer comes to fruition, well, then you might be able to say this is a coincidence, some out of the world thing fixed this situation, not my God came down and he enacted. Bold prayers, they leave room for God to do miracles in lives. Lord, help the homeless. Well, for the past two weeks, we've had this gentleman named Chris coming to Mount Calvary. Here's a person we can pray boldly for. Here's a reading from Mark chapter 11. And Jesus answered them, have faith in God. Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. I want to close it this way. I encourage all of you to begin your prayers in, Lord, let your will be done. The reason why I encourage you to begin your prayers with, Lord, let your will be done, instead of closing your prayers with this, is for this exact reason. If I'm on my knees, praying my heart out to God, Heavenly Father, please send your healing hand over my grandmother who's failing in health. Please, oh Lord, watch my daughter who's, who's dealing with bullying at school. Please, oh Father, be with so-and-so who has walked away from the faith, but let your will be done. If you close in that way, it's almost as a cop-out. You pray all these bold prayers, but then, but, maybe God won't answer them, so let your will be done. No, I encourage you to begin your prayers. Lord, let your will be done. And let all your supplications flow from that, abiding around God's word. Pray bold prayers. God honors them. You see, when the doctors no longer have an answer, when philosophers no longer have a solution, when politicians are being politicians, and we have to rely solely on our God, when we give him room to work, God does miracles in our lives. So I encourage you, when you come to the Father in prayer, pray boldly, knowing that your God hears you and answers you. Pray boldly. To Him be the glory. And in saying such, let us have a word of prayer together. Gracious God, you are the creator of the universe. You have placed us here in this life and you have called us to your glory through our baptism. I ask you, O Lord, everyone that's heard this devotion, when they come to you, when they pray to you, they pray with the assurance that you hear them and that you answer them. And no matter what they ask, no matter how big or how bold, they know they are praying to a God that is capable of all things. For with man, things are impossible. But with you, O Father, all things are possible. Give us your spirit and the courage to pray bold prayers to you, knowing that you honor bold prayers. And in your holy and most precious name, we pray all of these things. 
and all of God's people say, amen. Pray boldly. Thank you for joining me for Daily Devotion.